What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the most fun Minos I've played in a long time. One that is using a different kind of setup that you normally don't see on it, right? The Minos is a brawler, and he's so good at that. But you can use the Minos also as a long-range setup, because you have the ability with your dashes to stay out of enemy range. For example, enemies coming at you with Titan shotguns, you use those double dashes and you stay out of them, and uh, you can hit them at 500 meters range with perfect accuracy and damage output. And therefore, the Titan now becomes kind of a skill player, where you can use it in the right situation, in the right way, and always come out with the better, uh, you know, conditions, or situ uh, basically um, uh, results, right, if you play it well. And that's what I try to do here with this so-called Lance Minos that maybe you actually see from time to time in the future. Let's see. By the way, look how this beacon screwed me. I thought I have it. Okay, I walked a little bit out of it. Now I'm recapturing it again and I'm definitely in the beacon circle. You can see it on the bottom. I'm in the beacon circle and I'm capturing E. And now the game says, no, you're out of it and it reverses. And I was like, are you kidding me? I'm already on this for such a long time. So I'm walking back on it, shaking my camera in absolute fury of anger that uh, the beacon took 20 seconds to be captured. Oh man, crazy. Anyways, let's keep on going here. Um, also, by the way, we have a giveaway going on. Uh, uh, 100 Thor battleships. So the battleships that deals a lot of area damage and also disables enemy shields in that area as well, right? But here, this is a good situation showing you what I meant with a lance, right? I'm fighting a kind of a, uh, a nether here in the distance, in uh, very far away, and I don't have to expose myself too much, I don't have to get too close and cross the distance, use my dashes to get close. I can keep my dashes as a defensive means of getting out of trouble, rather than having to use the dashes to get in range of my shotgun so I can do damage to the enemy, right? And that really makes a big, big difference here, that those dashes are always ready for you to save you um, and therefore uh, underlining what I said before when I said this thing is something that stays in the game for an incredibly long time and it's very dangerous and hard to take down when it's played correctly the reflector will always protect you from these occasional titan attacks or other things that jump on you uh, and uh, look how much HP we have even though we already suffered damage it's just overall an incredible titan and it's very versatile in this state with these weapons here. Now let's go and attack the side, side, side here. Also take down this Titan there in the distance. Boom. One thing though, and uh, and that's something I really don't understand, is it takes forever to charge your battleship support meter. With these weapons, Pixonic, you have to rework something there. This is not normal. These Titan weapons, um, they just don't charge your Titan meter at all. You, you, you're absolutely not getting your Titan meter charged. Uh, it's it's very uh, unusual how long it takes to get this filled. Uh, other web Titan weapons do it so much faster. Um, yeah, and also th there's a little second topic to this video here too. Um, basically uh, telling you that it, it's about... Here, again, the same beacon screws me again. I'm trying to capture it and the game just doesn't recognize that I'm close enough. It just says, no, you're not on the beacon. But I know for a fact that you can capture the beacon from here. I know you can. And the game says, no. I can't, so I have to walk on it now. This beacon has screwed me more over th uh, than any other beacon I've ever seen in, in this game. But yeah, so um, the, the, the video also has a secondary topic, and that would be, um, uh, yeah, how a light weapon can outperform Titan weapons and how ridiculous the balancing in this game has become, right? Uh, and what am I talking about? Of course I'm talking about Nether. Uh, no, not Nether. Uh, uh, spear, sorry. Uh, about the spear weapon I'm talking about. Um, and uh, it's, it's just completely ridiculous how the spear is literally more powerful than Titan weapons are. And uh, I'll show you this in just a moment after this match, basically. Uh, the second match will showcase that. Uh, and uh, here, by the way, I don't know what this is, this keeps happening in the game, that people have some kind of weird glitch disconnect that uh, keeps them in the game, though, but they are completely invincible and they stand there uh, forever, right? Uh, it, it's such a weird thing. But yeah, here, so see, I have Titan shot, uh, the, these Explo shotguns on me, and what I can do, I'm just gonna stay a little further away from him, where my firepower is really effective at that range. His firepower is already missing damage output to the spread of his weapons, right? Shortly after, I'm coming in from the side, I'm pushing and bullying him a little bit with the dashes. Of course, I can still use them offensively, uh, offensively if I want to. Then we're using the reflector. And then he goes down. Now, again, in the second match, I'm going to show you something that really questions uh, balancing in War Robots big time. Because it's really awkward. 
Uh, also, another thing I should say is, um, <coughs> sorry, um, is that we still have, <coughs> oh gosh, Christmas time. So um, I'm uh, hoping that those of you who celebrate Christmas have a great time. And um, yeah, so hopefully you were, you're having uh, an enjoyable time with your friends and families there. Um, and also, thanks for watching, in because apparently you do, because you're, you're listening to what I say. Uh, that means uh, I'm also a little bit part of the family that you guys are together with. Yes, we are one big family right here during Christmas time. <laughs> Alright, so, um, trying to follow in this guy here with his um, Skyros ball. And he does have the Titan um, legendary pilot that prevents Titan weapons from dealing uh, increased damage against him. Because clearly we weren't able to deal damage. Boom! There, look at that Kepri, how quickly he went down, right? Alright, so, um, shooting at max range here, against that Kepri, who keeps bringing up shields after shields after shields after shields after shields, to the point where it, it just, I, I even stopped firing at him at this point, it's like no fun anymore. Um, but then at the, at the end he got in range and I could finally finish him off. Now you see what we're doing here in this match with our Titan, okay? This is a Titan. It is the most powerful thing in the universe uh, of war robots. It's a Titan. Uh, and it should, should outperform any regular robot any day, time of the day. Every time. There should be nothing standing close to a chance uh, against a Titan. Um, but uh, let me just show you in just a moment how, uh, yeah, how regular weapons, light weapons on top of that, um, uh, actually outperform these new lance weapons here big time. Okay, so we're firing at um, the enemy Capri here, trying to stay a little bit away from him so he doesn't get to deal full damage to me, and also I can have no problem hitting him because these Capris, when they you know, then they hover around, they're hard to kill, hard to hit when they walk around you. So this right there is the Nether Titan, and uh, no, the Aether Titan. Sorry. Um, and uh, he's using the same weapons as we are, but I'm reflecting right now, so I'm able to just brawl back at him for a while, and he can't really deal damage to me. And look how long the reflector lasts too on the Minos, it's pretty interesting. And then I just dash out of range, where he has uh, no longer the ability to hit me. So, uh, but look at my, um, my, uh, my, my battleship meter, 6%. For the entire rest of the battle now, with this Titan, I will be trying desperately to charge up this Titan meter. And I'm still at 6%, 7% now, 8%. I mean, I'm doing so much damage to these Titans and I have 11%. It's not possible to fill up this Titan meter. And look how, how much HP I'm missing. I'm missing a lot of HP and I could really use that Northlight uh, battleship. Um, I'm not talking about the Titan meter, I'm talking about the battleship meter, sorry. Um, and uh, I'm, I have 14%! I've been firing and killing Titans left and right for the better part of a minute now. And I have made a ridiculous, uh, what is that? Uh, f uh, tw yeah, 17% or something what I had. Now I kill the Titan, that gives you a good boost, but only killing them really gives you a, a good boost. If you just deal damage and you're not getting the killing shot, then it doesn't really fill up the tit uh, the, the battleship bar. And again, this is something that should be uh, should be looked at by Pixonic, because clearly it can't be that other Titan weapons fill your battleship meter up 10, 10 times faster, not just twice as fast or 30% fast. No, we're talking about a thousand percent faster. Other weapons would have long had this thing charged and three times. And it, I, I have not even managed to fill it up m more than 50% now, right? So uh, yeah, definitely something for Pixonic to look into. Um, it's highly irregular how this weapon uh, performs in terms of filling up that uh, battleship meter. And uh, you can see in the top left, I have so much HP I could fill up. I could fill up my entire Titan to half HP if the stupid battleship was ready to heal me up. Heal me up. But uh, it's not ready. It's just not ready to heal me up. It just doesn't do that. And so in the end, I just get snacked before I could um, get into my battleship, uh, my, my battleship support. And here's the thing that I meant, mentioned before. You see how, mu how much damage we've done with the Titan and everything. Now let's hop into the Kepri. The Kepri with his four spear weapons and the Otto Schreier pilot who, as we all know, improves uh, the firepower of any plasma weapon, including a uh, spear. So, um, and... Just to show how quickly things die, right? I mean, it, it took me quite a long time to kill things with uh, with this lance weapon on the Minos. And uh, and this thing just comes in. Look, this guy, once his shield is gone, this is a full mender. Pop, mender gone. This guy down to last stand. Pop, gone. Kill. 
Easy peasy, right? And and then just take a look at how things, how quickly you fill up the uh, the, the battleship meter, how quickly enemies get killed when you fire at them. The fire rate is way too high in this setup here. And it just shows that um, a light weapon is able to outperform Titan weapons, which it just could not be any more stupid. It should really, at this point, this is the maximum level of stupidity that I've ever seen in War Robots. Aside from drones uh, ruining the game, of course. But um, when light weapons outperform heavy, ultra heavy Titan weapons, we're talking after light, there comes medium weapon category, then there comes the heavy weapon category, and then comes Titan weapon category. And all of it is being outperformed by a light spear weapon. It's just at this point. I'm just not even sure if Pixonic even knows what they're doing at this point It seems like they're just entering random numbers and uh, and um, Every mo most of the time they just break the game um, So yeah um, Great job on uh, on making that happen. Anyways, let's keep on jumping into the third match here this guy unlimited shields lags 90% of the time that the shots get into into lag and then it just look I mean I fired at him like uh, 500,000 damage already and I'm only just beginning to deal some damage to him because he had these uh, never-ending shields. Um, also, my mistake was to fire at him with shield, uh, like pam pam pam, all at the same time. I should fire in sequence. Every time you fire at an enemy, fire in sequence at him, right? Don't let him... Um, uh, don't fire all three weapons at the same time, which I'm doing right now here. Now I'm firing in sequence, as you can see, and I'm uh, together with the other guy able to drop him quicker. And uh, that's good. Firestarter, his name is. It's just a twisted fire starter, yes. All right, so there's a dude standing on the beacon. Again, I'm firing in sequence. And uh, there comes the stupid shield. Uh, and after that, I can finally deal damage to him. Until the shield comes up again. Or no, in this case, it's not the shield. But you can see how, how well I can apply my firepower and my presence anywhere on the map with these weapons, right? If I'm somewhere centered, I can just go around and... Uh, and Apply my damage output everywhere, and, and I, don't have to, I don't have to get so close to deal damage to enemies. Of course, let's not forget the energy shotguns do more damage overall, right? I know that too, but um, uh, they do more damage only when you're close enough to do so, right? And uh, there, for example, is an enemy tr uh, trident, uh, tri <laughs> an enemy tripod titan, the Indra, uh, and he's got the three energy shotguns, and I'm just obl obliterating him from here, from safety, and he can fire back at me. He could, but he's not. He wouldn't really deal damage to me, and um, and I'm just shooting from right here, right? Eventually, he realizes where he is safe, and then he goes there. But I almost dropped the entire Titan safely from a distance. And if I had attacked him with my uh, shotguns, then he would have used his transcendence or face shifting abilities, and until my reflector is gone, and then he would have dealt tremendous damage back at me. Maybe he would even have won the battle, right? I don't know. Um, but uh, I'm just firing from farther away without exposing myself to unnecessary danger, and I'm just having fun. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. But again, filling up that battleship, it just takes forever. <clears throat> and then I, I don't get the Titan kills. It's the worst thing ever. There's regular robot shooting at the enemy, and uh, they always score the kills, and my Titan weapons don't score the kills. Hmm. Because, um, and, and that's why I don't get my Titan battleship filled up. No, my, my, my battleship, yeah. Alright, and here comes the end of the gameplay, because, uh, this guy just spawns there with his, uh, Sharenga up there in the safety. And there is no fighting this. I can't, I can't fight this. Because now he has this turret in front of him that covers him. But yeah, so far this is it. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget about the Thor battleship giveaway in the top right corner. You'll get directly to that. Also, video description, pinned comment, I link it for you. So, tell me what you think about this Minos. Do you think it's an interesting setup build? Uh, or would you just go at 100% face brawling, uh, shotgun mode? Uh, rather. Yeah, so let me know. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one and, uh, enjoy, uh, your, your, your great Christmas time. Those who do. Bye-bye.